so we can put some articles on screen. We can't show you the videos because we've been banned off uh, YouTube. 35,000 videos deleted uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a giant racketeering uh, antitrust operation. But Right Wing Watch is allowed to keep theirs up. But it took a minute and a half where I said, I think CNN and others are planning false flags against themselves to blame the president. That was a few months ago. Now uh, they're openly saying the president is going to cause terror attacks on them. We've gotten intel from multiple sources, and Millie and, and Gavin have some great sources. They've told them the same thing with intelligence connections that have predicted things before that were accurate, that they're going to build this up, that I'm under censorship, then claim terrorist strike media outlets because I've been censored to once and for all put coffin nails in us. So we're here breaking this now, but ahead of them starting the Civil War, ahead of them trying to assassinate Trump and staging terror attacks against themselves, they have to silence us so you don't hear it and see it. But they're not going to stop you. But we're now entering the crucible. Infowars.com reporter. She also does her own work uh, with her own uh, website, Millennium uh, Millie. So she's just a correspondent with us. But in the official will try to probably totally ban her for being associated. That's the chilling effect they're trying to push. But if you give into the chilling effect up front, everyone falls. And there's a big backlash against this right now, Millie. But I agree with you and your source. I have other sources. You look at the tea leaves, there's another wave, another enemy attack coming. Tell us about your source, Millie. Okay, so essentially my source reached out to me a couple days before the Toronto shooting attack and was urgently warning that there was back chatter in the intelligence community of an impending terror attack in Toronto. Didn't know what exactly was going to happen with that, whether it was going to be shooting or anything specific, but they said something was going to happen. Well, unfortunately, I never got out in time to come and say something about that warning, but I do have email to document um, those warnings. Now, this same same source, I kid you not, a couple days ago came to me warning of another terror attack event, but this time this event they're saying is going to be a lot bigger. Um, they didn't specifically say what was going to be targeted. I know you just said that um, some people said media outlets are targeted. Targeted, but they're saying that this is going to be something large and there's chatter in the intelligence community that it would be something along the scale of a chemical attack, a biological attack, or some type of dirty bomb. So it would be something rather large and that apparently this has been something that's been set up and in the works um, for a very, very long time by the deep state community and that they're resorting to this and that essentially um, these terror organizations or groups would use social media purposefully this is this is how it all be set up they would use social media so that then later social media can be scrutinized and they could essentially say that we have to now make sure that everyone has a government issued id attached to every single social media account and there will not be any more anonymous accounts essentially so that they can prevent more terrorism. Now, the whole point of this is that they want to issue this plan where everyone has to have a government-issued ID to have a social media account. So that they By the way, you were told this last week before, I remember you telling me about it, before it even popped up in reason, uh, saying Senate Democrats are circulating plans for government takeover of the Internet. So that's Senator Warner. This is happening. They're making their move uh, right now. You, you can see it. And then they, st uh, so again, they want identity verification so yes. they can ban whoever they want. Forbes is pushing it. It's the perfect storm of dying corporate media uh, look, with, with Alex, governments and unpopular political advance. groups. They do it all in advance. Just anyone go look up a list of mergers and acquisitions by Facebook, the company. One of the most recent, which was in January 23rd of 2018, this year, they purchased a company that specialized in a government-issued ID verification platform. And now they're approaching banks about having all that happen. It, it's here. They're going to move to Internet ID. They're even going to give people free money to sign up for it first. It's called the Mark of lucifer the mark of satan it's here be sure and take your facebook id it's for your own good if you want to fueling your body is hard work that's why we've introduced the InfoWars life daily digestive pack to help you fuel it right combine flora life everyday maintenance and carnivore to help you fuel your gut and body and take advantage of the powerful nutrients you receive there's no better way to power your body 
Flora Life is a powerful probiotic supplement with 20 of the most potent clinically studied probiotic strains. When paired with Carnivore, our incredible enzyme formula that helps you break down nutrients, these formulas fuel your gut and your body to help you fight toxins and stay fueled all day. These incredible formulas can help keep your body in tip-top shape in the fight against stress, age, and outside toxins. There's no better time to try Flora Life and Carnivore to see how well they can support your body. Don't miss out on the chance to fuel your body and support recovery. Try the InfoWars Life Daily Digestive Pack today. All right, so the Senate Democrats uh, have plans to openly have a government Internet ID. Facebook's calling for it. It's all concerted. China has created the uh, Internet ID. I warned you about this years ago on the global social scale and social score. They're helping censor U.S. media now, working with Google and Twitter and Facebook as well as Apple mainly. And they are now setting the precedent by demonizing me to make me unpopular to with the average person who doesn't know who I am to set the precedent to censor Alex Jones, ahead of this Internet ID program to, quote, fix the problems of being able to use Internet ID to track ISIS, Al-Qaeda people they're protecting who are going to recruit for terror attacks uh, inside the United States. So we're breaking information that I have from multiple sources that I've known for months. Uh, I have warned you over and over and over again uh, that all of this is coming, that all of this is unfolding, uh, and that this is the global plan to shut down the free Internet as we know it. So everybody needs to understand that as a free species, this is the attempted takedown. Trump was just a beachhead to try to stop this. He can't do it all. We must call Congress. We must call C-SPAN. We must call talk radio. We must get the articles out on Infowars.com. That's why they fear us so much because we're dead on about the Internet ID, the global social score. We must expose it, but the big tech companies are already 90% of all Internet activity. Now they want control of the banking. China is where they're moving so they can carry out criminal stuff online that the U.S. or Congress can't stop them from doing. And they think Congress and Trump are too stupid to understand this is happening. There it is. Facebook is asking U.S. banks to share customer financial information, including account balances and card transactions in a bid to bolster messenger engagement report claims. It all sounds very innocuous, but... It's here. Total worldwide panopticonic control where if you're not a good globalist, not just online but everywhere, you starve to death. And then they can socially get you like the Dark Mirror episode to submit to them to show you're going to do it. And they think we're so stupid and then they've got, if you've been to any anti or leftist meeting, all these poor, scared, desperate, crazy people totally living on welfare and assistance who think we're trying to take their food away. That's why they hate our guts. And they really believe we're Nazis. They don't know a real collaborator. Nazi runs them. They don't know the shy comms that killed five times what Hitler did, fund them. They don't know. So, Millie, you got the floor. Break this down what your source said more because you can see the tea leaves. You can hear it. Now CNN. Do we, do we have the stelter piece? We're going to play that Basically. after you leave. And then Roger Stone's coming up next segment uh, where he says, oh, the, the Trump's going to get us killed. They're the ones calling for the civil war, the violence, and they don't want us pointing it out. And number one, they don't want us, once it kicks off, Millie, to be there in live time to analyze it. And the final straw was over 10,000 people they now estimate in Portland, a couple thousand patriots in San Francisco, most of them wearing our apparel or bumper stickers, a third wearing our shirts, most of them had our bumper stickers. Two-thirds were info warriors. And they saw the fact that we can mobilize real people. And they saw that it was a multiracial crowd, way more multiracial, full of women, Hispanic, black, uh, old, young. And, and everybody looked good and they were strong. I mean, you know, the guy who has multiple sclerosis, beautiful human being, on his walker, they beat him up. He fights back on his walker and kicks their ass. I mean, this is archetypal. They cannot have us on the field. They must have us off the field to misrepresent who we are. They create a fake army of who we are while we've been blocked out. We're in the phantom zone. No one can see us. They create a fake army of who we are. Then they send in their forces to be the heroes and defeat us in the fake war. Millie Weaver, take over.
So Alex, this is why I felt so urgently to come out and warn about what this source said. One of the alarming things is this source is saying days ago, talking about Infowars, Alex Jones being essentially banned or censored or their free speech being impeded on social media and that we would then fight back or sue, which is natural. It's gonna be our natural reaction. So that's what the intelligence community and these think tanks are going to seek out. But let's say let's say they they set us up to where we have enough social pressure that we get put back on these platforms and it's just all a free speech space. Well, if they do have this false flag terror event planned, see, that's that's where it comes in where they would then try to put the blame on us for, hey, us wanting free speech on social media platforms is what allowed these terror organizations to commit this terror crime. When in fact, they've already been planning it it's all something that's part of their plan to try to push in and usher in this government issued ID program where these aren't gonna be internet IDs or social media IDs, but your driver's license, your, your passport, whatever your government ID is gonna have to be scanned and loaded and verified into the social media account in order for you to keep your social media account. So a lot of truthers, info warriors, conservatives are gonna be freaked out by this and they're most likely just going to abstain from returning to the these social media platforms. It's not just gonna be Facebook. Facebook bought WhatsApp, Facebook bought Instagram. Um, the Alphabet company, which owns Google and YouTube, these are also big tech companies and tech giants that are not just seemingly social media giants.